Today we're going to work on the mother of pearl inlays. Um, I've worked uh, a little emblem out of my initials, uh, which I'm going to inlay into the 12th fret and also put that onto the headstock. Um, so we're going to work through the process of how to do that. The first thing I did was I made a, uh, a large scale drawing of this, and which I've then done quite a thick outline because we're going to reduce this in size and then use the small uh, sizes to cut out uh, a little template to cut out the mother of pearl. So this is my original. I then scan that and reduce the size down and then I've printed out two different sizes. One is a small size which is for the uh, 12th fret inlay and the other is a little bit larger which is for the top of the headstock. So the first thing to do is cut out these templates. What I'm doing is cutting on the very outside of the black line. So I want to get it as close as possible so that when we cut the mother of pearl, we are absolutely falling right to the edge of this line. The more, the more accurate you get it at this stage, the cleaner and the better the cut will be on the mother of pearl. There we go. Absolutely amazing. So, we then can stick this onto our mother of pearl blank and cut around that. And if you do the small one's just the same as the big one, but it's a bit more fiddly. We're going to give this a whirl now. So this is our little saw jig, and there's a little tube here connected to a fish tank pump, which just provides a little jet of air to clear the dust away from the workpiece as you're cutting. And that's really very important because if you don't, if you don't have this, you're constantly blowing and you can't see what you're doing, and uh, uh, you start to end up with not a very smooth cut and you end up with edges that aren't quite straight. So that's um, how we're going to set this thing up here. So this dust is not particularly pleasant. It's, there's a school of thought that it's a bit carcinogenic, but I'm not taking any chance, but it really does get onto your lungs. So uh, you're best having a face mask on. Okay, I'm just going to put uh, some holes in the inside of the mother of pearl where we're going to cut out uh, these pieces with a saw. Um, I'm doing that before I've cut out the outside, otherwise we'll have nothing to hold on to. So just plunge in a couple of holes, put that in through the hole we just drilled, and then tighten up the saw, and we can cut these pieces out while we've still got something to hold on to. Now that black edge there, that black line, is what your eye will guide to as you are cutting around. If you just had a piece of paper cut out, you lose the, the sharp guide edge as you're sawing. So we're just cutting out the internal pieces first before we cut the outer profile on the template so that we've still got the, the piece of mother of pill to hold on to while we're working onto this. I'm just turning the piece as we work so you tend to find you have a comfortable direction to cut in and you just turn the mother of pearl so that you're always cutting in the direction that's most comfortable. I find it so they're just cutting away from you. Keep the blade working the full length so use all of the blade. Nice long steady strokes and as you get towards a piece where it's coming to the end just let the saw do the work, don't press on it and bing there we go. That's one bit. Pull the blade out, go on to the next bit. Which bit should we do next? Oh, let's do that bit. just take off the, uh, the paper that we glued to the top, use me improved eyesight and um, hopefully this hasn't stuck on too, too strongly. So uh, there we are. But what I'm going to do now is just get a, a diamond file and just file off the, the uh, edges of this. You get some little imperfections where you, you saw has moved a little bit. So you probably want to spend about five or ten minutes cleaning it up. We've got a curved side to this diamond file so we can run that on the inside of these curves 
Okay, now we've uh, completed it. Mm -hmm.